<laughs> that hurts. Hey everybody, this is my dog, Sammy Davis Jr. One of my dogs, anyway. And he's feeling a little needy today, but buddy, you're going to have to get down. Come on, get off. Thank you. All right, so I just want to take a minute to demonstrate Folsom Prison Blues to you and talk a little bit about what my expectations are. And I'll show, just show you a couple other little details you can throw in if you feel you're ready for it. So first of all, here's the song. Now I'm going to put the intro in, even though I don't think we covered that in very much detail in class, and I'll teach it to you later. So the intro is... Sammy, calm down. Shh. Sorry about that, guys. So, here's the deal. I want to show you the intro first of all. I think everybody can do the intro. It doesn't have to be super fast. You're going to play the bottom two notes of your B7 chord. If you want to hold the B7 chord, that's great, but you only need these two notes. Middle finger, first finger. And you're going to play the B that's under the middle finger three times. Hop up to the fourth string, which is a D sharp. You can keep both fingers down if you want to. Back to the B. Then hop over to the fifth of the chord, and you give it a little tweak. You pull down on it. I call that the moo cow sound. I don't know why. It sounds like a cow mooing. And then you're on to the E bass note, and you're into the first verse. So all together. All right, that's the intro. We're going to pause for one second while I enforce doggy peace time. Alrighty, and we're back. Now, for the rest of the song, all you have is E chord, A chord, and B7 chord. And my main goal for you in this video is to demonstrate to me that you can play the roots and the fifths for each one. It can be nice and slow. and deliberate. It can even be a little slower than what I'm doing now. All right. So take your time, go through it. If you can sing at the same time, that would be wonderful. If you don't feel comfortable singing and keeping all of this stuff going with your right hand right now, don't worry about it too much. We will get you there. One other little cool thing you can put in is when he says, but that train, you can walk up to the B chord. So instead of just jumping right to the B chord and beat one, you can walk up and here's your A. Now we're really on an E chord at this point, but it doesn't matter. This is just targeting the uh, B7 chord. It's A, A sharp, that's your first fret on your fifth string, B, second fret on the fifth string, and you're into it. So it's but that train. down to San Antonio. You're going to jump over and play that fifth anyway. So you can give it another one of those little bends. And give it a moo cow sound. It just really, you want to go up maybe a half step. That's about right. It doesn't have to be it's totally perfect. The biggest thing is you want to bend up there pretty quick. You don't want to go too slowly. Bend it quickly up about a half step and then relax. If you've never done that before, that might take a little experimentation to keep the pressure down and move the string, but it's not too hard. So all together that's but that train keeps rolling down to San Antonio. Isn't that cool? That'll make you really sound like you're playing a Johnny Cash song as opposed to just playing 
you know, the right chords at the right time. So uh, one last thought, all of this root and fifth stuff that we're doing here, the roots and the fifths for all of your chords are going to be on the four, uh, the fifth and sixth strings, excuse me, fifth and sixth, except for the D chord, which root, the root there, or if we did a D minor, we we'll get to it later, will be on the fourth string. But if you can do it in this song, it's going to be pretty easy to take this to other keys. You're not going to have to worry about like, oh, I got to play a song in A now. It's going to be completely different. Or I'm going to play it in G. It's not going to be very different at all once you get the right hand going. All right. So uh, we'll definitely do some roots and fifths in that key later on. But don't sweat it. So here's the deal. Sometime before midnight on Tuesday night, before our next class meets, send in a video of yourself playing Folsom Prison Blues to the best of your ability. If you're someone who can just whip through it, that's fantastic. You just need to do one verse. If you're just learning, show me your progress. Show me where you're at. And don't do what I just did and actually play the root of the fifth. There we go. And that's it, okay? So it doesn't have to be fast. It doesn't have to be uh, amazing, but do strive for accuracy and timing even if you decide to take it at a slow tempo okay that's it enjoy your long weekend i know i will sammy come here come here say hello to the people up oh, look here we go he's he's not gonna do it all right take care guys we'll see you on wednesday